Did you know that you have a powerful shadow government ready to give you assistance on earth? It's your royal bloodline. Vicki Dillard here, AKA God is Guru. I'm doing it again. Your ancestors webinar part three. This time we're going to be discussing both your terrestrial and celestial lineage. Go to my website today on purposewithvicki.com. This is for the whole wide world. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So I want y'all to watch this video real quick. Come on back. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. So as you saw there, it was a white girl who walked up into a gym and she's filming herself and she's taking her clothes off really slow and she's wiggling and all that. And she happened to catch two brothers behind her on her, you know, camera as she was filming. And she tried to make a big deal. And in the words, she tried to make it seem like one of them said, oh, damn, like, oh, damn, like they looking at her butt, right? And so she confronted him. Uh, is there, can I help you with something? And the brother came up to her, was like, uh, excuse me? And so, of course, y'all saw what happened. And he basically kicked her out of the gym and said he was calling the police on her and she did not want to leave. Now, in another post on her TikTok, and her TikTok is now private, she posted that uh, he trespassed her and revoked her membership. And I say, good for that brother. Good for him not allowing Monkey Wrench Monica to come up into the gym and try to trap brothers into her low self-esteem or thinking more of herself than she ought to because it was a matter of time before a brother got in some real trouble behind her trying to, you know, trap brothers into this fantasy she's got going on in her mind. And listen... I'm not trying to shame nobody at all, but she had a pancake booty. So what was they really looking at? Most brothers want a little bit more back there than some pancakes. And so, you know, good for her. Good for bodybuilding Becky that she is no longer associated with that gym. But I love that the brother was unapologetic. Uh-uh, you got to go. Because what you're not going to be up in here doing is trying to catch brothers up in your little TikTok fantasy and all of that, right? So hopefully she went to another gym where they have your brads and all those other people up in there who she feels less threatened around. But that's another thing, too. A lot of those white girls out there, they like to try to catch black men up in their little traps and stuff. And they put it all over the Internet. Oh, look what he's looking at. Man, he's just that and the other. It's like, girl, please. They just happened to be where they were and you set up your camera there and tried to make some out of it. I will tell you this, she had to go private on her TikTok because people were coming for her in the comments. And so, good. You didn't get what you thought you was going to get out of trying to trap a brother up. So y'all tell me what y'all think of the story. For more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. 
And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.